Good afternoon, SFA Volleyball fans. HBU Huskies in the house today, um, making the way over from Northwestern State. And uh, as we did Thursday when Corpus Christi came in, got a chance to talk to Ivy Barsh. And we've got Jessica Wooten and Kayla Armour with us this afternoon. Girls, thanks for being with me. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Jessica, you are from Humble, Texas. You and I are from the same neck of the woods. I went to Spring High School. You went to Atascacita. Do you ever get a chance to go back? Or you get a chance to, to visit back in that area again? Yeah, like every weekend I go back. So. Oh, every single weekend you go back? I'm a family person, so yeah, I'm always back. So mom, dad, brothers, everybody yeah. still back there? Mm -hmm. Everyone. Now, uh, Kayla, you are not from Houston, Texas. Um, you made your way over from Florida, Bradenton, if I remember right. So tell me the story. How did you get from Bradenton, Florida to HPU? Um, I just got a phone call from my club coach, and they're like, have you ever heard of HPU? And I was like, I have not. <laughs> and he's like, well, would you be interested? And I was like, sure, why not? And then went on a visit, and I visited a couple other schools in Florida, but I decided to come to Houston instead. So here I am. How many times did you visit HBU before the commit? One time. Just one time. By myself. No parents. I flew out by myself, saw the school, and then about like two weeks later, I called them and said, I'm coming. Wow. That's pretty serious. Okay. Last year, um, 2014, all conference teams, Schnars. Wells Gibson, Ivy, Brink, and then Wooten. Fifth most votes for MVP in the conference. And what gets me about that is only two of those girls weren't seniors. You were a sophomore, Jessica. Do you think of yourself as an MVP type player? From last year? Or now? I think Heather, who got it, definitely deserved it. And I think she's doing the same this year. Um. What about leadership style, though? How would, with that, with that accolade, with being the player that gets keyed on, how would you describe your leadership style with your team? Uh, lead by example. I'm not a talkative person. I get in trouble all the time to open <laughs> your mouth, do this, like use your words. And I'm just like, you know, I'll just show you and then follow me. So, so you're not, not, and I've watched you play a couple times, and I've noticed that you're not, you're not a very vocal person both on and off the court. That's just sort of your natural personality? Yes, very quiet. <laughs> We're going to talk about somebody here in a minute on your team who I think is not like that. She's not sitting here talking to us, but I'm going to ask one of you about her. Um, Kayla, last year on the side I run, um, at the beginning of the year, and I got the little paper to prove it, um, I picked you to win setter of the year. Um, when I saw you as a freshman, I thought, uh, this girl's going to be really, really good. And uh, I actually wrote on here that I felt like you fit the mold of a setter that I like to see perfectly. Um, but in your in your eyes, and I ask every setter I talk to this, what makes a good setter to you? Um, I think a good setter has to understand volleyball maybe a little bit more than the other girls on the team because they have a lot more control over what goes on. And you have to just be aware of what's going on around you. So, And also being a leader, that helps too. Just having all those qualities come together makes a good setter. You've been, uh, at times while you've been at HVU, one, there are three or four setters in the conference that tend to attack a little bit more than others. Um, Nicholson at Corpus, Siemens at ACU, Graham at McNeese, and you. Um, is that something that's always been a part of you as a setter, or is that something sort of as you've got to college that you've realized that's something I want to do more, or that's something the coaches want me to do more? Um, in high school, I would definitely say I was a very attacking, and then as I got to college, I was like, wow, like these girls are a lot better than high school players. They can actually pick this up. So I had to develop it a little bit more. I was very raw at the beginning. But now that I've grown and I've understood it a little bit more, then yeah. I've kind of grown into it. But you say pick that up. What do you, what what in that moment take me through? What is it what is it about that moment that gives you that clue? What are you looking for in terms of the opposition to make that decision? I'm going to hit right here. Um just the situation that's going on if it's a really long transition or something like that then 
that might be a good time. If I see a player out of position, that might be a good time, or just to mix things up every so often. Jessica, at the beginning of the year, what did uh, what did Coach Herman, the entire team, what were the expectations for y'all's club going in? Before you ever started playing a match, what, what would you say the team talked about in terms of this year, the goal is this? Hmm. Um, definitely play as a team. Like, And we had the depth this year. It wasn't like last year where we felt like you know, it was a six on, and that's how it was. We were like, we have a solid bench. Like, we can do this. And getting picked fourth was nice and very motivating that we were like, you know, we have a shot this year to take it. So. Um, do you, given what you said already, I, I bet I know how you're going to answer this, but do you, you – you said, you know, you knew you were picked fourth. Do you keep up with – other outside hitters in the league, do you look at how they do, or are you just – because some girls do. Some girls are really they, – they look at how other players that play their positions do, and some girls I've talked to are like, no, I'm just tunnel vision. I don't look at what anybody else is doing. No, I, I look at – look at at <laughs> <laughs> we both do. We'll compare yeah. all the time, like, yeah. ooh, this yeah. is how it's going. So. so I know Coach Herman was sick, but Kayla, I, you had a concussion – Right? I mean, a few days ago. You both did? Okay, take me through that. Uh, Tony Greystone at Texas A&M Corpus Christi talking about that. What what happened on I mean, you're okay now. I mean, clearly you're okay. You had a double-double at Northwestern State. So um, what, what what was the deal with the concussion there? Uh, I just got hit in the head. So with a ball or with a, somebody's fist? <laughs> with a ball. Yeah, I got hit in the head with a ball. And yeah, during the Central Arkansas game. So that was. Oh, so it wasn't a practice deal. It was actually during the UCA match? Yeah, it was during a game. So, but you didn't come out of that match, right? No, I I thought I was fine, and I thought I was fine that night. And then the next, the following night, I was like, "Wow, like this headache that I'm having is kind of." So I told my trainer, and yeah. we took the test, and it was really mild. It wasn't anything serious, but just had to sit out a game. So, yeah. And last question, girls. Um, Jessica, first, I want to talk to you about your middles. Um, Jessica, take me through. Can you remember the first time you met Allison Derpinghouse? I mean, here comes this 6'4", you know, big blocker from Washington. You know, I guess what, southeastern Louisiana's got a 6'4 middle, but I don't know if she's a true 6'4". But, but, I, but at y'all's place last year when I came to do radio there, y'all were warming up in the gym there at Sharp, and I had stepped inside, and Allison came over to get water. And she, I probably creeped her out because... I, I'm 6'4", and I slid kind of closer to her to, like, see if, like, she was to solid me. But it could take me through this. Um, you remember the first time you met Allison and what your impressions were? Yes, super excited. Oh, we were like, yes, she's on our team. Like, <laughs> we can use this. And she's awesome. She's funny. She, you think she'd be, like, quiet and reserved? No. She's like, we look at her like, Allison, like, what are you doing? <laughs> she's crazy. You know, what um, – what do you think? What do you think are her qualities as a middle blocker that make her so good? Um, I think she's definitely intimidating. I yeah. think other teams see her and they're like, "Crap! Like we have to get her on that block." And then when she gets her arm up and takes a rip at the ball, like you know, no one's gonna touch it. It's good. And then her blocking, she's a great blocker. And uh, I already read you what I said last year, but when I wrote uh, sort of previews for teams this year. Um, you know, everybody has, well, every sports fan has favorite players on their favorite team. And then you have players on other, other teams. You're like, well, that person's really good. And I wrote this. I said, I always go into the year with a few unheralded players that I like more than others. And let me give you one name on the HBU squad, Blair Gillard. Um, I, I mean, I am a huge Blair Gillard fan. Now, she'll probably walk through here. I mean, I, I watched her last year, and she's the one I mentioned. I don't think she's a quiet player. Now, am I right? Because she she was yelling pretty loud. But Kayla taught me taught me through taught me through Gillard because she's a name along with Derpinghouse and of course the two of you. You get a little buzz as I talk to other people on the conference. They know who the two of you are because of the numbers we were checking a minute ago. But Blair Gillard and Allison Derpinghouse are starting to get a lot of talk. So, what makes? Am I right about Blair? Is she kind of real outgoing and loud and talk to me about um, you know what makes her a good blocker? 
Uh, Blair is her own person, <laughs> but she's great. She yeah. she loves volleyball so much, and she definitely has a passion for the game. And everything she does is like for the team and everything. And she, yeah, she's just great. She's super loud. She gets so excited during the games and gets us going some nights. And it's great. It's really good to have her energy on the court. And I really think that helps a lot too offensively like she just wants to hit so hard and so like she wants the ball every time so I think that helps a lot um with her game so well she uh last year doing radio she sealed off a block with one of you on a pin and I was doing radio on the other side and she turned she screamed so loud she maxed out my volume I mean she literally she like yelled right in my face so maybe today on the PA, I'm going to yell back in her face. I don't know. Jessica Wooten, um, one of the best outside hitters in this conference, and Kayla Armour, um, definitively one of the best setters in this conference. Thanks, girls, for being willing to sit down. Thanks for having us. Thank you.